Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at the Nexus 5. This is a LG made device. Uh, LG made the hardware. Uh, uh, Google sells it through their Google Play Store. As you can see, we have uh, connections to the Google Play Store right through here. You're able to buy devices on the internet uh, through that same sort of interface. Now what you've got here is also the newest version of Android. This is version 4.4, uh, that's KitKat, has new options uh, and uh, being able to pay for things with NFC, you're able to uh, print through the cloud. Otherwise, it's a lot of other Android stuff that is uh, minor changes. Uh, other than you get this little thing here, this little screen is the the uh, Easter egg you get with each different version of Android. Pops up, shows the little versions in there. Uh, outside, we've also got hard, uh, some hardware specifications. This is a 4.95. Uh, inch display with 1920 times uh, 1080 pixels. That's a 1080p screen. That's uh, 444, 445 pixels per inch, by the way, beaten only by the HTC One for devices that are released right now. It's working with 4G LTE. That's on several different carriers at the moment. We do not know what is happening with Verizon, but we do know that it's working on uh, T-Mobile. It works on AT&T. Uh, it also works with uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz as well. Down in our apps here, we have quite a few apps that I added in here, so it's going to be a little bit different, but there's new icons for sort of things like phone. You got uh, access, full access to play games now. You're able to uh, get into Google settings. Inside Google settings, you'll have options for things like your uh, voice. Now what we're going to do here, go back to the front. This little addition right here looks mighty similar to what we've seen in uh, previous versions of Android. Uh, but what we can do here is say, OK, Google, and we'll be able to ask it questions. That's right from the desktop. You can also do things like go out over here to Google Now. You can also say, OK, Google, and ask it more questions through there. Uh, as you may have seen already, this interface also has Google Now right to the left here. This is from your home screen. Uh, so you have however many home screens you want here to, you know, fill all your apps if you wish, but you can go to the left here and you can see information provided by Google Now. Uh, this device is out now. It is available from, again, the Google Play Store. It's relatively inexpensive for what, for the, uh, you know, relatively high specifications of it. And uh, check it out.